Hello everyone, our group will be working on the prediction the maturity of a balloon. As we all know, an abalone is an edible mollusk of worm seeds that has a shallow ear-shaped shell lined with mother of pearl and pierced with respiratory holes. The economic value of abalone is positively correlated with its edge. Therefore, to detect the edge of abalone accurately is important for both farmers and customers to determine its price. Machine learning is used to determine the abalone maturity by using the edge. Machine learning algorithms are used to recognize patterns and make decisions based on empirical data. Next, the problem statement for this project is three. The first one is the cost because in order to predict the abalone maturity is very costly. Second, the time consuming. In order to predict the maturity of abalone become longer if the age cannot be determined in a short time. And the third one is lack of accuracy. In order to determine the abalone maturity is very hard because nowadays there is lack of accuracy. Move to the project objective. The goal of this project is to predict the maturity of abalone by determining their age based on a physical measurement. The specific objective for this project is to provide an intangible description of abalone shell structure and growth. Other than that, to portray diverse techniques which have been utilized to age abalone utilizing morphological qualities of the shell. There are 10 features for this project scope. For example, gender, length, diameter, height and so on. To read the data set in the data frame, we use this function. Uh, this is the data set of the data frame. To counter the data set, we use this function. Uh, this is the result of the counter. Which we will show the yes and no result. Then uh, we show the data set info. This is the info of the data set. Then we plot the data set into two features age and gender this is the result of the data set and this is the plot of the data set then we use this uh, function to generate the plot of the age this is the result okay, for our research uh, we will put the gender into the time 1 for the time 2 the value will be will be input is measured uh, by using the index gender and for the no uh, the value is 1 and yes is 0 uh, next line is to show the what is inside the time 1 and time 2 ok this is the result and then we plot it uh, to form this graph ok this graph show the count of a balloon and the gender and for this graph, uh, we show the probability of balloon major. For this graph, the major balloon is separate by gender, uh, which is female and male, and this is the probability of the balloon major. Okay, next one, uh, we separate, uh, classify into this graph where the red one is a no and the blue one is a yes, uh, the majority of the balloon. For this line, we check is there missing data in the balloon data. For our data, there is no missing data because all is zero. Okay, next one, we will convert the gender and the method from string into zero and one. And this is the output. Gender and method. For this graph, the function used is this. Okay, and then this is to plot the graph. Uh, for this graph, use the diameter and line to plot the method. Okay, for the modeling, we use the KLN model and this is the function and then this and also this. Okay, to show the result, first we set the figure size into this and then the color is red and lime. Next, we plot the graph into two, the original one and the after the classification. Okay, this is the graph uh, where this is the original one and this is the after the classification. There is no differences because the accuracy score is actually 100% like this, the, the result.
we use this function to to show this accuracy score we use this function to generate the prediction Okay, for the conclusion of this uh, project to predict the Eblon maturity was done systematically. The dataset was explored and the variable was standardized. From the above research, the probability to get the Eblon maturity are fully processed and accurate. Thus, from the result, is, it is concluded that KN is one of the effective methods to predict the maturity of the Eblon.